Hey friends, welcome into Cross My Heart Ministry. I'm Laurie McFarland. This week, we took a break from our regular Bible study to do what we call a Love Out Loud project. Our Bible study does this each semester. We take one day, sort of drop the date down in the middle of the semester, and we work together on a little mini missions project. And for the last several years, that project in the fall has been Operation Christmas Child. You may have heard of it. Most people have, or many people have. It's the Ministry of Samaritan's Purse. And you've probably heard of Samaritan's Purse, especially in recent years with all the different national disasters. Franklin Graham's organization has boots on the ground very quickly, and they come to the aid and assistance of so many people in very desperate and dire situations. Well, Operation Christmas Child is just one of the many ministries that this organization engages in. And it's a ministry devoted to sharing the gospel with children all around the world. I have been involved with Operation Christmas Child since my children were young. We would always pack a box for a child the age of each one of my children. We would go shopping together and I would encourage them to fill a shoe box with toys and items for a child their age and their gender. And so here's how it works. You do that. You just pack a shoe box and that shoe box goes to a central collection site and they are accumulated and, and shipped all around the world. And it's a way for a child that otherwise would probably have nothing for Christmas to hear about the gospel, to hear the message of Jesus Christ, and for us to fulfill the Great Commission in a very small way. You and I may never go to a foreign country, certainly not a foreign country in some of these very remote third world nations far off the beaten path and where there's not even electricity. But these boxes get there. But the shoe box itself is, is not an end in itself. It's basically just a doorway to present the gospel. And so as these children receive a shoe box that has some fun things in it, maybe a little toy or a stuffed animal, but also some practical things, um, some, some things that, 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 that they might need. I always like to put in a toothbrush, for example, a washcloth, maybe some soap. Those, there's, it's amazing how many fun and useful things you can pack in just the size of a shoebox. But these are carried there. There's a big party in the village for the shoeboxes arrive. There are videos online that you can look and see what happens. It never ceases to bring tears to my eyes. But these shoeboxes become a means to share the gospel with children that desperately need to know about Jesus Christ. And that launches then a 12-week discipleship journey called the journey and they share the gospel and teach children the gospel so it's not just a one and done sort of a party you can find more about operation christmas child at the samaritan's purse website and you can also get a brochure like this you can print this off and you can find where the locations are to drop off a box in your community and so you affix a little label that says whether the box is for a boy or a girl and then the age categories that they look to provide a box for a child are ages 2 to 4, 5 to 9, or 10 to 14. Be sure to enclose the $10 shipping to carry each box where it needs to go to its destination. But we have really made this a fun project with our ladies Bible study group. Each table works together to fill the boxes around their table. I challenged each group in our ladies Bible study to do five boxes. We have 24 groups. So that would be 120 boxes. Well, they outdid that. They packed 146 boxes this year. So 146 children are going to be blessed with a box. Those boxes will travel all around the world, and it's going to be very exciting. They have added some new features since I started doing this with my children over 20 years ago. And now you can even track your box and see what country it lands in and, and kind of follow it along. I hope you'll consider doing this. There's so many ways to get involved individually or maybe with your small group at church or with a ladies Bible study like ours. When our children were young, I even hosted a birthday party. We called it a happy birthday Jesus party. And I asked all the children to come and we sang the happy birthday to Jesus and we had birthday cake. And instead of bringing a gift like they would to a typical birthday party, we had everyone bring a shoebox and we played some games and it, that was just a fun way to celebrate what we were doing and really help the children keep their 
eyes on Jesus and really understand the reason for the season. Well, I want to wrap up and let you watch and see a, a few photos from our group and how we packed boxes and all the things that we did. I hope this blesses you and I hope you'll consider getting involved in Operation Christmas Child as well. For Cross Heart Ministry, I'm Laura McFarland.